I've been interested in buildings for many years and in fact it was through this interest that I got into railway modelling. A long, long time ago I was standing up on the old disused North London railway station at Shoreditch, taking photographs of it from every conceivable angle and I just thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice to actually record this in three dimension as opposed to just photographs. All of my buildings, or at least most of them, are actually based on true prototypes. The platform building is based on Mildmay Park. Now Mildmay Park closed in 1934, long been demolished, but there are a few photos. All of the other buildings all come from actual locations where possible. The general shops and houses are actually taken from the Sydney Street area. There's a school in that area, so we put a school in. Um, there was the old Rosen Punch Bowl pub, so fortunately there are photos of that. So, so working from photos, we did the Rosen Punch Bowl. There is another railway building which we moved in from elsewhere in the East End. This is a, a little red brick thing, which used to be at Poplar Junction and it was part and parcel of the Midland Railway Poplar Dock complex of the early 1880s. It's always important to work from either a good photograph, better still, a selection of photographs. Our first decision was on what prototype to base our main station building. Well, after a lot of thought, we decided on Haggerston. Haggerston was a typical North London railway station building of the 1860s. The buildings for this layout were going to be built of card, which I must admit, in the past, I'd never thought about using. I'd always preferred plastic card, but having seen the results that my son Charlie was getting with his street level model kits, I was so taken with the brickwork and I thought, well, let's just give it a try. And not only that, it might actually work out quicker than doing it in Plasticard. So I set about designing the building on the computer using the Adobe Illustrator program. Unfortunately, time doesn't really allow for a fully detailed description of how this is done. But taking it basically, we start off by making measurements of the building, working out, say, the sizes from bricks and, and things that we should know the actual dimensions of, and then making the shape on our computer screen. We then add the details. I always start with the bricks, and then on top of the bricks, we do the windows, window ledges, in the case of Haggerston, these nice, wide window mouldings, very much beloved of the architect Edwin Horn, and these little panels, which will eventually hold the name North London Railway, and down here it will say Sydney Street Station. When everything is finished, we then simply put it through to print, and hey presto, we've got basically a card kit. You can print out more than one copy and that allows us to be able to paste one on top of the other and therefore add more relief, more detail. So once you've printed the sheets out, it's just a case of getting them onto the cutting board, cutting them out, laying them on in relief, and then we're ready to actually construct our building.
there is our main section. As I said, we do need to add relief detail. And I mentioned the North London Railway panels. Normally, if I was actually building this as a finished model, I would very, very carefully go around the edge of this with a black felt pen. There we are, you can see the panel here. That's going to take North London Railway. The next thing to do is cut out the windows. Cutting out windows is always a bit of a task. If done properly, it completely transforms a card model. We would go around the inside here with a colour to match what's printed. In this case it would be um, Humbrol 98 chocolate brown I would have thought. I think that's the right number, apologies if it isn't. And you just paint around there and then you would stick acetate on the back with some card I would put in the window ledges and I would put in these mouldings here and then when it's finished all being well it would look like the version that we built for the layout. That's roughly how these buildings were originated and um, after you've had a bit of practice I'm sure you'll have lots of fun and the rewards are definitely there as you can see on the layout. We're happy with it. I think the important thing with railway modelling, as long as we are happy ourselves with the standards that we achieve, then I think we've achieved our goal.